I take issue when pro-lifers claim that they're for, they're for life, but then yet they say, and accept cases of rape, that I should be dead. I shouldn't be here because my father raped my mother. You know, the reality of the situation right now is fewer women who conceive uh, through rape choose abortion than through just a regular average unintended pregnancy. So the momentum is already in that direction, but uh, that we're out here to try and spread the word and to, to say that there is support for women who do conceive in that way. And that our lives, you know, do mean something and have value. Are you saying that this should be illegal to have an abortion from rape? Yes, more women that are conceived, that get pregnant from rape, they are choosing life. There are more women out there that choose life than actually choose abortion. And they are healing because of it. I, I truly believe my, my son brought healing to me. And without that, I think you're missing that. You're missing that extra, that just... There's a beauty in it. There's beauty from ashes. And I've never once looked back at him and considered, man, I wish I wouldn't have had him. Do you think it would be hard for a woman to raise a baby uh, when she looks at the baby and every time she realizes that it came from something horrible that happened to her? I mean, don't you think that would impact the way she saw the child? We have a woman here who is raped. And, you know, she looks at her child as a victim as well. They're both victims in this case. Not all women see that. I was a I was adopted, I know Jim was adopted, so adoption is a wonderful option. I had a, I had a very brave, strong mother who chose life for me, and I had a wonderful mother who raised me. You were a young woman, obviously. Yes. You say you were raped. Yes. And you became pregnant because of the rape? Yes. And what happened after that? Tell me, tell me a little bit about what happened. Um, after I became pregnant, he tried to force me to have an abortion. And his way of forcing me to have an abortion was by taking me back to a park and punching me in the stomach. When that didn't work, he came into my office and forced me down on the table and told me that he was going home to get money for an abortion. And when he came back, that you I... You knew this man? Yes. Okay. I did. He was a friend and it was a, a date. He considered it. Um, we were going to meet friends and never made it to those friends and raped me instead. What would you say if you were posed with that question, you were running for office? Because obviously if you say something wrong about rape, you, you can destroy your political career right. these days. I speak up on this very frequently. I say rape is awful, it's terrible, it's something the woman did not want to happen to her. But the last thing we need to do is take a woman who has been victimized and then put that baby on her heart for the rest of her life, for her to go around knowing that a conceived human being was taken from her. We can't add tragedy on top of a tragic thing. Why do you think other women should keep babies that they conceived out of rape? Well, it might, you know, I didn't ask to be raped and I certainly didn't ask to become pregnant from that rape. But no more did I ask for that, did my child ask to be conceived. And so his life is as valuable as mine. And that's why, I mean, life is valuable in any situation. And his life has only been a blessing to me. He's now 10 and the joy that he brings to my life is undescribable. And I can't imagine that the past 10 years of not having him.